Yog Punter. Hello and welcome to another video from War Secrets. Tanks form an important weapon system in World War II. Even though tanks in the interwar years were the subject of widespread research, production was limited to relatively small numbers in a few countries. However, during World War II, most armies employed tanks, and production level reached thousands each month. Tank usage, doctrine, and production varied widely among the combatant nations. Today, we are discussing a German tank, Jagdpanther, which was used in World War II by Nazis. In this video, we will tell you about its history, design, and its weapons. So watch the whole video, and before we start, make sure you are subscribed to War Secrets, and also turn your notifications on for the channel to never miss any videos from us. Now, let's get started. History At the end of 1942, German was faced with a lack of economic and industrial resources in the construction of armored vehicles, and German military engineers were instructed to create a new, efficient, but low-cost tank. The study of this new tank began in October 1942. First prototype was then manufactured in October 1943. The chassis was that of the Panther tank. The principle of the turret was suppressed for the reasons of cost, while the cannon used is a PAK-43 of 88mm, protected by the masked pig snout. This craft bears the name Jagdpanther V. Jagd means hunter in German. The production began three months later in January 1944, and the first copies were delivered in June 1944, at the very moment when the Allies landed in Normandy. Although only deployed in this region, they fulfilled their mission perfectly, and on July 30, 1944, 14 Churchill tanks of the 6th Guards Armored Brigade were destroyed for the loss of only two Jagdpanther in the Kaumont area. However, the German tank fighters were all reduced to ashes by the Allied Air Force in the following days and none managed to cross the Seine during the general withdrawal of the forces of the Third Reich. Only 392 units were built from January 1944 to March 1945, but the Jagdpanther was one of the most successful German tank fighters in the entire Second World War. Development The Jagdpanther has been preceded by two attempts at mounting an 8.8cm gun as a self-propelled anti-tank weapon. Ferdinand using the 91 leftover Porsche-built VK4501 chassis from the Tiger tank competition, it had lost to Henschel in 1942, and the Nashorn using a Panzer 3 or 4 chassis. Ferdinand proved to be too heavy and Nashorn small and underpowered. The heavy tank destroyer design based on an 8.8 cm BAK-43 gun and the Panther tank chassis was ordered in late 1942 as designed as KFZ-173. The prototype by MIAG was demonstrated in October 1943 before Hitler. Production started in January 1944. In February, Hitler specified the simpler Jagdpanther name instead of its original 8.8 cm PAK 43 or 3 AUF Panzer Jagger Panther. Design When the PAK 43 was designed, it was originally meant to be towed into battle, but it soon became clear that the anti tank gun was very and widely to transport in the field. As a result, the Vyamhasati started looking for self propelled platform to mount the 88mm gun onto. The solution was found on August 3rd, 1942, when the Heeres Waffenamt, the agency in charge of RD for the German army, decided to mount the PAK on a Panther chassis. Krupp was awarded the design contract but wasn't able to deliver the design drawings by January 1943, and so the project was handed over to Daimler Benz. Krupp, however, remained responsible for the production and delivery of the PAK 43, the main armament of the Yak Panther. In the first design, the tank was named the 88mm Sturmguss Hesshutz. The final design was presented to Hitler on his birthday and subsequently accepted by the Heeres Waffenamt in May 1943. As production started on the first models of the Jagd Panther, it became apparent that there was a shortage of workspace in the Daimler Benz factory. That combined the Daimler Benz not being able to produce the contracted amount of Panthers lead to production being handed over to MIAG, a Brunswick-based company. A pre-production model was presented to Hitler on the 20th of October alongside a model of the Tiger II and the Jag Tiger. November that year, mass production of the Jag Panther was authorized. When it entered German army service, it was given the designation as the KFZ-173. Weapons 
To accommodate the heavier caliber gun, much as on previous Yak Panther style unturreted tank destroyers, the glazes, plate, and slope hull sides of the Yak Panther were extended up into an integral, turretless fixed casemate as part of the main hull itself to provide a roomy interior. The Yak Panther had side armor of increased thickness to offset the slightly reduced angle of the side armor necessary to provide enough interior space. The frontal armor was 80 mm The new Panther AUSFG had the same feature to harmonize production and increase protection. It was armed with the same long-barreled 8.8cm gun as the Tiger II King Tiger. The gun was mounted in a central mantlet which gave it a limited traverse of 11 degrees to each side. A single 7.92mm MG34 machine gun for the local defense was in a ball mount on the right-hand side of the front glazes plate. The machine gunner was also the wireless operator. The driver sat on the left. The gunner had a range finder and a periscope telescope sight. The periscope, linked to the gun mount, was under an armored housing on the roof. The Yak Panther had a good power-to-weight ratio and a powerful main gun which enabled it to destroy any type of allied tank. Based on the existing Panther AUSFG chassis, the vehicle did not suffer too many mechanical problems. It had an upgraded transmission which had been planned for the Panther II. And a final drive to counter the Panther's main weakness, it was manned by a crew of five. A driver, radio operator, commander, gunner, and a loader. Speed the production model of the Yag Panther weighed in at 46 tons, making it one of the heavier tanks fielded by the German army. The drivetrain was the same as the Panther, aside from the engine and the heavier transmission. It was powered by the 12-cylinder Maybach HL230P30 23.1-liter V12 gasoline engine which would give it an effective range of 160 km and a top speed of 46 km per hour, making it as fast as contemporary Allied medium tanks such as the M4 Sherman, despite the latter weighing 15,000 kg less. Crew Inside the Yak Panther, there was a five-man crew consisting of the commander, driver, gunner, loader, and radio operator, with the latter doubling as a machine gunner. The two hatches at the top of the tank were for the commander and the loader, with the hatch at the back serving as an entrance for the crew and to replenish ammunition. In early models, the driver used two periscopes to see ahead, and five pistol holes could also be used to observe the surrounding battlefield, but the latter soon turned out to be more detrimental to the strength of the armor. In later models, the holes were removed and the left periscope was wielded over. The commander and loader had four periscopes available to survey the surrounding area, too rigid and too capable of turning. The Yak Panther was provided with a 10-watt FU-5 transmitter and a 2-watt FU-2 receiver radio. Command vehicles received the long-range 30-watt FU-8 radio set. That's all for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If yes, then don't forget to like the video and also share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. We'll see you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned to War Secrets. Bye!